are really poems. They're words um, that have rhyme and meter. So it's a kind of poetry, and it's strophic poetry. So uh, the a recurrence of rhymes and meters uh, is, is the same from verse to verse. Uh, I should say the rhyming scheme and the, the rhythm of stressed and unstressed syllables is the same from verse to verse. And um, then over, over the centuries, people have written music for singing those kinds of poems. And so the music also needs to have a repeating, um, not rhyme scheme, but in this case, chordal scheme or harmonic scheme. And the, the musical stresses and unstresses need to line up with the stresses uh, and unstressed syllables of the words. So for example, a mighty fortress is our God. You know, it's almost every other syllable is stressed, beginning with an unstressed syllable. And so the music does that too. The music begins on the fourth beat of a four-four bar. So one, two, three. And then the next line. And so forth. Um, <clears throat> this particular poem is a paraphrase of, of a psalm. And it's Psalm 46. So the hymn becomes a way in which everyone can sing the psalm um, in a rhythmically predictable and um, rhyming way. And once you've learned the tune, you know, you're good to go for all the verses. So if you've got eight verses of the poem, you learn the tune and, and it's like um, eight for the price of one shopping. <laughs> so it's a very practical way to engage a large group of people in singing a song. Mm -hmm. 